gentlemen, today we're going to talk about chunky, heavy cardigans. Those heavy sweaters you see in the fall and the winter that close with buttons or toggles on the front. Oftentimes you'll see professors or fathers or grandfathers wearing them, um, but I really think they're underutilized and underworn by guys of my age that's, you know, 20s, 30s. Um, when worn well and worn correctly, they're actually super stylish. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. Um, they're comfortable, they're cozy, they're casual. Um, they're really just a, a great garment. So I want to talk a little bit about them today, how they came about, um, you know, how to wear them, then show you guys a couple of different looks, uh, you know, showcasing these cardigans. We have this olive green one, uh, this navy one, and this black one. So to give you guys a little reference on two great examples of chunky, heavy cardigans, I want to bring up first what I think is the most notable example is Clark Griswold's from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. At Christmas Eve dinner, he wears this great gray heavy cardigan with a you know, green and red t Christmas tie. He's carving the turkey, schnotz is under the table, chewing on bones, and Bethany you know, recites uh, I Pledge Allegiance. It's really a great scene and to my mind the best Christmas movie ever you know, created. There's a lot of really good ones. Um, but that's, I think, my favorite, my family's favorite. Another great example is Kurt Cobain's from MTV's uh, Unplugged, the Nirvana show that they did. I think it's from 1993. Kurt Cobain is wearing a, a smooth, uh, heavy cardigan, um, but you know it's really kind of like shaggy, like a, a you know a Drake's or J Press shaggy dog sweater. Um, you know, it's a really kind of nice sweater. It's a little big for him, but that you know very much goes with his style. Then two examples of sweaters that are commonly attributed as being cardigans, but they're not. The first is Mr. Rogers' red sweater, and the second is the dude from the Big Lebowski, his uh, kind of tan and brown sweater that has a kind of a uh, woven in print in it. Um, both of those are closed with zippers, not toggles or um, buttons, and so that kind of uh, negates them or you know alienates them from being cardigans. Um, they're more like sweater jackets. They're very nice for what they are, they're just not cardigans. For a bit of quick background on how the cardigan came to be and the name, we have to go back about 170 years to the Crimean War, uh, specifically the Battle of Balaclava, um, which for some of you who know the war will remember the charge of the Light Brigade, which is so well immortalized in Alfred Lord Tennyson's poem a couple years later. The guy who led that charge was an English nobleman called James Brudenell, AKA the seventh Earl of Cardigan. Um, so most of his soldiers died. He survived, and as did a couple other guys, um, because of the poem and because of the absurdity of the charge. Um, you know, he kind of became a famous character, you know, or famous person of the time. Um, the soldiers wore what was the descendant of the cardigan. It didn't have sleeves. I think it was closed differently, but over time, the style was changed and and. Uh, you know, kind of mutated into what is now the current day cardigan. So more or less, that's how it came to be. It was named after the Earl. Um, so kind of a cool story. Quite simply put, a chunky or heavy cardigan is, yes, it's heavier, both visually and physically, um, you know, they're, but they're really designed to be worn on their own, not underneath something else. You know, they're too heavy to be worn underneath a blazer or a sports coat. You know, these, the ones I'm gonna to showcase tonight are heavier than, you know, any sports coat that I have. Um, they often have a pattern knit into them, like this rib pattern, or a fisherman's knit, or a cable knit. Um, so I think that visual interest um, and the heft you know, makes them almost impossible to wear underneath another jacket. They often have a collar, specifically a shawl collar, although some are you know, plain without a collar, but I think they look best when they do have a collar. Um, you know, they're closed with buttons or toggles, not with zippers. Um, but you know, again, the biggest thing is that they are worn on their own. Now these normal cardigans that I speak of, you know, can fulfill all the same purposes or all the same roles as a chunky heavy cardigan. They just look a little different. Um, but the other key thing is that they can be worn underneath a blazer or jacket. They're thinner, they're often one solid color. They often do not have, or you know, they really never have a shawl collar or other type of collar. Um, you know, they're still closed with buttons and they still have, you know, pockets most of the time, um, but they can be worn underneath another garment. Um, they can be used as an alternative to a waistcoat or you know a vest um, you know underneath a suit or you know blazer sports coat they add some warmth they add some visual interest you know it's a really great look um, but they just you know uh, to me don't look quite as good on their own they can still be worn on their own you know as the outermost article of clothing uh, I just don't think they quite hold up you know on their own as well as a heavy and chunky cardigan so anyways today we're just going to focus on these heavy ones and you know another video we can talk about the normal ones Regarding formality, I would put wearing a cardigan 
beneath wearing a blazer or sports coat, but above just wearing a shirt on its own. Oftentimes I will wear one instead of wearing a blazer or a sports coat. Um, you know, I'll wear it with a tie, without a tie, with khakis, corduroys. Um, you know, you can wear it with jeans or dress trousers. Um, but it's a super flexible garment, super stylish. It's a great way to bring in a different look into your wardrobe. Um, and it's also oftentimes a less expensive, uh, you know, alternative to like a blazer or a sports coat if you're super budget conscious. Um, so that's kind of one thing to keep in mind for some of you guys. Like any article of clothing, the fit of a cardigan is crucial. It's going to make or break the ensemble you're wearing. And since it's on your upper body, it's really going to have an effect on the overall look. You know, you want it to be snug, kind of hug your body, but not tight. You don't want it to be loose or slouchy. Then you look kind of lazy or not put together. You know, this cardigan, I think it fits me quite well. Um, you know, here you see, you know, the arms, there's not like fabric drooping off. When I button it, you'll see there's not, you know, fabric, you know, falling off my chest or my stomach. Um, you know, it looks put together, it, it, it fits me well, it looks polished, elegant, masculine. Um, you can see here, you know, it's just kind of a really nice polished look. You know, around the, the shoulders and the arms, you know, I have mobility. You know, I can move my arms and not feel constrained or tight. That's really nice. Um, so when you're trying one on, make sure it kind of hits on all those buttons, uh, you know, or all those check boxes. Um, you know, a lot of time the sleeves are too long for me at least. I'm 5'10", and, uh, you know, what I do is I just roll the sleeve you know, over like that, um, it's an easy fix. You know, you can show or not show a little cuff. You know, I don't really like to show cuff under the sweater. Sometimes it pops out. Um, you know, but, but it's, again, like any other garment, the fit is king. So now what a lot of you guys are probably wondering, what are some things you can wear these with? Uh, you know, as I said, I wear them uh, in lieu of a jacket or blazer a lot of the time. This look here is a very simple and classic look. We have the solid navy cardigan from J. Crew, a white oxford cloth button down collar shirt with brown corduroy trousers. As I said, super simple, super classic. If I wanted to dress it up, I could throw on like a navy or a brown you know, knit tie with this thing. Um, and you know, that'd be a, you know, a great look. Um, you know, but this is kind of a great starting point you know, when you're first starting to bring a cardigan into your you know, wardrobe. In this look, we have something a little more formal. We have the gray flannel trousers, you know, the dress pants. So we still have the white Oxford button-down collar shirt. We still have the navy blue um, cardigan, but I also added the navy blue silk knit tie from Jay Butler. I think silk knit ties go particularly well with the heavy wool and cashmere cardigans. Um, the contrast between the textures, uh, you know, of the different textiles, I think is beautiful. Um, you know, I can button this up, and it you know really kind of takes on its own. You know, as a replacement for a jacket, you know, if you're walking outside, you can warm yourself up. Um, but to me, this is a great look. Um, I've worn this look a number of times, you know, out on dates and, uh, you know, cocktail parties, you know, to the office, stuff like that. It's, it's really a, another great classic look. So with this look, I want to do something a little more monochromatic. We have the olive green cardigan, the olive green corduroys. The difference in the texture between the two is awesome. It almost looks like a suit when you're wearing it. The brown check shirt is really nice. Again, you could of course wear it with a tie. I am wearing it here without one. Um, but this is a, a more classic, a more preppy look. You could change it up by throwing on, um, you know, chinos or dress pants or, you know, a V-neck or t-shirt. Um, you know, there's a lot of things you can do. I'm just a little more preppy with my style, so that's why I wear it like this. Um, but just know that, you know, the monochromatic look can actually be a really, really nice look with a cardigan. Um, you could do it with blue, brown, black, gray. Um, you know, a bunch of other colors. I just happen to choose olive green because I love wearing olive green. With this final look, we have something that is decidedly less formal. Um, we have the black shawl collared cardigan, the white v-neck t-shirt, and then gray sweatpants. Uh, this is a look that I would wear, you know, going out to the corner store or sitting around my apartment. I wouldn't really wear it out other than that. Um, maybe I'd wear it to like a really casual brunch or something. Um, you know, I even call this my brunch cardigan. Uh, but to me, this is a very casual outfit. Some of you guys, this may be more your personal style, maybe more up your alley, that's totally fine. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's definitely less preppy than the other looks. Um, you know, maybe it's a little more like forward or more modern, um, you know, but uh, it's just another way that you can wear, you know, these heavy and these chunky cardigans. It's not just with polo shirts, not just with ties or, you know, button down collar shirts. You know, they're actually a very flexible article of clothing. By now, I think we've covered all of the important points related to these heavy and chunky cardigans, um, you know, where they came from, what the name comes from, how to style them, uh, how they should fit, uh, how formal they are. But if you guys have any questions,
comments, thoughts, you want to share your own experiences, please sound off in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Um, you know, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can see some of our other videos. If you want to find me online, it's thefineunggentleman.com. Facebook at the Fine Young Gentleman. On Twitter and Instagram at FYG Blog. Um, you know, keep watching. Guys, again, I'm Justin Jeffers from the Fine Young Gentleman, and thanks for watching.